Welcome to the Emirates Airline U.S. Open Series. Our nation's capital serves as the backdrop for week number three for the men at the City Open. Let's travel inside Rock Creek Park to the William H.G. Fitzgerald Tennis Center for your highlights. Top seed Marty Fish finds himself on court on semifinal Saturday for the first time in seven appearances in Washington, D.C. He faces good friend and practice partner Tommy Haas. The two may live in Los Angeles, but on this day, Haas is anything but neighborly. Tommy wins 28 of 30 on first serve, saves all three break points, and advances in one hour and 33 minutes, 6-3-7-5. Ranked outside of the top 200 at the start of 2012, the 34-year-old Haas continues his remarkable comeback and advances to his third tour final this year, all coming in his last five events. The other semi also features another top-ranked American, Sam Query, who comes into D.C. after collecting his third Los Angeles title one week ago. He faces second-seeded Alexander Dolgopolov. It's the first meeting between the pair, and it's all Alexander. Query is plagued by six double faults, while Dolgopolov nails eight aces, saves all five break points, and needs just one hour and 14 minutes for a 6-4, 6-4 win. So the final between Haas and Dogopolov pits two players in tremendous form, neither having lost a set all week. This is the 24th career final for Haas, who seems to be channeling the Tommy Haas of a decade ago, when he reached a career high ranking of number two in the world. For Dogopolov, it's just his fourth trip to the last day of an event, but he shows no signs of nerves. The two exchange breaks have served midway through the opening set, but with Haas leading 5-4, Mother Nature intervenes with a lengthy two and a half hour rain delay. When they retake the court, both players are eager to pick up where they left off. Neither is broken again, resulting in a tiebreak, where Haas's experience pays off as he takes the decisive 13th game, 9-7. The second set finds Haas's serve, which had been remarkable all week, having been broken just once entering the final, under extreme duress as Dogopolov applies pressure with his return. The Ukrainian continually attacks Haas' second serve, and Tommy ultimately succumbs. Dogopolov gets the break, and it's all he needs to even the match at one set all. The third set is domination by Dogopolov. The frenetic pace and unconventional ground strokes of the man affectionately known on tour as Dog are too much. Haas is able to muster only 11 points in a single game. Alexander proves too great as he cruises to victory, defeating Haas 6-7, 6-4, 6-1, to collect his second career title. Now for a look at the men's standings in the Emirates Airline U.S. Open Series Bonus Challenge. By virtue of reaching the semifinals following last week's title run, Sam Query finds himself atop the leaderboard, with Alexander Dogopolov joining Atlanta champion Andy Roddick in a tie for the second spot. From our nation's capital, the men head north to Toronto for the Rogers Cup, an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event. The women return to action on the Emirates Airline U.S. Open Series, also heading north for the Rogers Cup, with the ladies competing in Montreal. Coverage from both tournaments can be seen on Tennis Channel and ESPN2. Check the TV schedule page on EmiratesUSOpenSeries.com for days and times. And of course, check back for daily updates throughout the week, right here on EmiratesUSOpenSeries.com. Follow the story all summer long. Sign up at usopenfollowthestory.org. Connect your Twitter, Facebook, and Foursquare accounts for a chance to win a trip to the 2013 U.S. Open and a vacation in Dubai. Compliments of Emirates Airline. I'm Kevin Skinner. Thank you for watching highlights of the 2012 Emirates Airline U.S. Open Series.